Welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through the new version 4.1 download system. Uh, the system offers the ability to not only have products that you can download, but also to have option sets that can adjust your customer's download based on their selection. Uh, it's a new feature we offer. It's kind of a complex feature. Uh, it can be used for a lot of uh, different items and different scenarios. And so we want to walk through uh, one of the basic scenarios we kind of came up with, which was a photography store. Um, in this example, uh, we're going to walk through offering a download but also offering different versions for example high resolution image maybe a maximum resolution image and you want your customers to be able to grab that download uh, based on uh, what they choose and to also have their option uh, maybe adjust price so this is a really good feature for photography but it could be used for a lot of situations where you offer a download and maybe you want to have an option set where they get uh, an extra download or you would like to go ahead and overwrite the download completely. So let's take a look at this option system and how it works and how you can maybe use this in your easy cart setup. So what we're going to do, I just have a basic store set up here uh, and I was just messing around with it. I have a basic uh, photo here that I was uploading with my demo data. So I don't have anything special going on here. So what we're going to do uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new product and I'll just call this um, my test mountain photo and I'll just give it an SKU just call it mountain and I'll give it a quick manufacturer and maybe we're going to offer this for $19.99 and it wants me to select an image uh, and I have an image here it could be a watermarked image that you create uh, it could be anything and I've got th three different images here and they all have three different resolutions and so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this low resolution image and I'm gonna go ahead and create my product and I have my test mountain photo product right here so let's go ahead and open it up I'm gonna go ahead and edit this a little bit more this is my test product and I've just set it up where it's 1999 and the user can download their uh, basic image let's say I've got a simple photo here of course you could watermark that you could do a lot of things with that image um, and the key here to making a download is you have to scroll down here to downloads and make it an actual download and the original file I'm gonna go ahead and pick is my low resolution image let's say I want them to download this thousand by thousand pixel image so I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my my initial download for this product okay and let me update the product description here so let's go ahead and view this okay so we have a, a basic product the user can add it to their shopping cart and they can check out but what if you want to have option sets that change the download uh, a high res medium res so let's take a look at that feature now and so what you do is you come over to your option sets and we go ahead and create a new option set. I already have one created here and so I'll just walk through it. I'm gonna go ahead and you would normally just click add new okay and I'm gonna go ahead and call this my advanced image swatches uh, that's the one I'm gonna choose it could be a combo box um, as well uh, you give your option a name and I'm gonna say select image quality this is what the customer would see is the label and then we can go ahead and make it required give the user a message so on and so forth so I've just set up a basic advanced image swatch and then what you do is you have to edit the actual items in this option and so I'm gonna go ahead and edit the options and you can see here I've created three different 
uh, options. And so let's take a look at the first one. This is just the normal selection. Um, so I just type in for the option name, maybe normal, uh, thousand by thousand. Uh, I give it a sort a order of the first option, so it'll show up first. And you can give it any kind of model number extension. This model extension just adds on to the SKU. So you, it could be whatever, it could be R1000, um, that doesn't matter. Uh, and then everything else is going to be the same because this is our default product. I'm going to go ahead and save this normal thousand by thousand image. Now what we want to do is create an option that changes the price and the download. So let's take a look at the second one. This is a high resolution image. Okay, and I'll just maybe say high resolution or something. So the user knows uh, what they're selecting give it a sort order. This will be my second option. Uh, you can give it whatever model number extension you want. Okay. The key here is to come down now and this option allows the product to download. And what you do, and I'll go ahead and remove it, you have two new choices here with the, with the system that we created. This selection here overrides the default file download or this one adds a file to the download so they would get the normal one plus this download in our situation I just want to go ahead and give them the high resolution one that they just ordered so I'm going to upload my alternative file and it's going to be this 2500 by 2500 image and let's say we want to adjust the price so I'm going to go ahead and give it a base price adjustment of 10 bucks so instead of $19.99, it's going to be $29.99. And I'll save this. So we've got this high resolution one. And then, of course, we could do another one. This will be maximum. And it's going to be a 5,000 by 5,000 image. And this will be our third option. Give it whatever SKU extension you want, if you want to. And again, I'm going to go ahead and select this product and allow a download. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this extra 500 or 5,000 by 5,000. So this is my maximum sized image I've got. And of course, I can adjust the price. So if they select this choice, it's not going to be $19.99. It's going to be $39.99. And we'll save this. And so I've got my option set, set up. This is my image quality option. And the cool thing about it is I can reuse this um, if I needed to. So I go back to my product. And I'm going to go down here to my test photo. And what we have to do is actually attach that option set to it. So I go to option sets. And this is an advanced option set. Of course, you need the professional and premium edition to use this, as well as our downloads. And I'm going to go ahead and select image quality and add it to this. And now I've got this uh, required option that is attached to my product. And so let's go back to our store. And I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my product. And now you can see I've got this option, select image quality and the user has to go through and highlight one of these. If they select just the normal, you notice the price doesn't change. If they select this high resolution, it's now $29.99 and $39.99. So let's say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to purchase this high resolution image. Okay, so I'm going to add this to the shopping cart. I'm going to walk through checkout here just real quick to show you what that looks like. So the user just goes ahead and fills out their regular uh, billing and shipping and payment information. Uh, and I've just got a test system set up here. And we'll submit this order. <coughs> and what's nice here is, is the user can always manage and get their downloads from their account. So when they finish their order, Okay, they will see a view downloads. They can always go back to their account and get their uh, download as well. 
I'm going to click on view download or view downloads and it takes them right into their order and we can see here that this person bought this this SKU with this extension uh, they bought this high quality resolution image and so if we download this okay we should get their image and of course this is just an image so it opens automatically but you can see this is the high res image it's not the thousand by thousand and so what you've done is created a way for them to uh, grab essentially their their download based on the option set and of course a user can always come back into their account uh, they can always grab their downloads from here they can grab their downloads from in their orders uh, specifically so that is the new option order system that lets you do downloads you could have different zip files um, you could have different packages it does not have to be just for photography uh, the cool part about this is it just lets you download and adjust the downloads based on an option set so if you have any questions about it um, certainly check out our professional trial it's 14 day trial that you can test it out on and we have some help documentation on it as well thank you